Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please pray? Father, thank you for sending to us your kingdom in the person of Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving to us your life and your mercy and your grace through what Jesus Christ has done for us. Thank you for the inspiration and the strength to go forward and grow your kingdom, to grow people and in the grace and the mercy of God, to grow the kingdom with people and new. Father, help us to go. Go out into our worlds, go out into our communities, go out so that we are full of your grace and we go with your power and with your authority. We pray this in Jesus' name. And all God's children say, Amen. Well, today, the kingdom goes. We will be looking at our gospel lesson from Luke chapter 9 in just a moment. But first I want to talk about my comfort zone. Now, I, I see Jesus' command here as he sent out the apostles, sent out the twelve into the community. And I look at my comfort zone and I go, no, that's not my strong suit. You know, they used to call it in the, in the business world, cold calling. It's not my strongest suit to go to somebody I don't know and to tell them about Jesus. I'm not very comfortable at it. I'm, you know, I'm kind of introverted, believe it or not. <laughs> but when it comes to this, I get nervous and antsy. Am I going to say the right things? Am I going to do the right things? I'm afraid of whether or not I'll actually say the right things that God wants me to say. That's my comfort zone. And you know, if we examined ourselves and looked at our comfort zone, I'm sure there are many of you in today in this room that are probably just like me, not sure of ourselves, not very confident when it comes to talking about people we don't know for the sake of Jesus Christ. Our natural abilities are not in that realm. We may not be gifted for that. And when we look at Jesus' command to go out and He sends us out into the world, it's a lot easier for us. You know, we're very comfortable here in our own little world, in our own little room. You know, we're not very comfortable going out. But yet Jesus commands us to go out into the world and to take us outside of our comfort zone. Well, let's take a look now at Jesus' command himself. I invite you to open up your Bibles, please, to Luke chapter 9. And if you brought your Bibles with you, that great turn there. If you did not, again, I encourage you to bring your Bibles with you to worship. And that way, when you come to Sunday school, you have your Bibles with you also. If you did not, we have Bibles that are in the racks that are attached in the back of the pew in front of you for you to use. It's about the twelve here. And Jesus commanded us, this. he sent them out into the world. Let's take a look. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He sent them out into the world. Now, Luke uses the term the twelve. Another way of saying that, and these men, these 12 men that Jesus handpicked, also known as the apostles. And the word apostle literally means ones who are sent out. And he sent them out. Same root word, apostolo in Greek, is, is to what is that verb, and he sent them out. Sent them out to proclaim. Now, if you were traveling, if you were going somewhere, and you knew you were going somewhere, you would what? Maybe if you're gone for a couple of days, pack a bag. You might 
go out and say, you know what, I'm going to need this, I'm going to need this, I'm going to need this. What did Jesus send them out with? A bag? Nope. Food? Nope. Water? Money? Nope. Nope. Send them out with nothing. Save the cloaks on their back and the sandals on their feet. He sent them out with nothing, or at least what we would consider nothing. He sent them out there for two reasons. First one is the trust that he will provide. I'm not going in there with something that I can handle or something I can hang on to. I didn't, he didn't send us out there to, to go with something that we can use as a crutch. Nope. He sent them out solely to trust that Jesus would provide. He sent them out into the world with only the shirt on their back and the shoes on their feet to trust Jesus. He's going to send them out there also to go out and to engage the community, to stay with people in the community, to stay with them, to be reliant upon them, not on ourselves. The whole point is not to rely on me, myself, and I, but to rely on the power and the trust of God. He sent them out into that environment. And if a household or a town did not receive you well, it says there, shake the dust off their feet. Now where does that phrase come from? Well, it's an old Jewish tradition back in the day that when somebody was traveling through a Gentile region, before they stepped into the Jewish region, like for example, if one was going from Judea to Galilee and had to go through Samaria or vice versa, they would walk through and before they walked into Judea or Galilee, they would literally shake the dust off their feet so that when they walked home into their home community that they would be clean. Shaking all the bad stuff of all them Gentiles off. So that's what Jesus is sending them out with. And it seems to us that he's sending them out with nothing. Sink or swim on their own. That's what it would seem. But I mean, if we go back to verse 1. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He sent them out with power and authority. They weren't on their own. They never went out into the world, into communities, into homes by themselves. They went with the power and the authority to do the work of God that was God's. It wasn't theirs. It didn't belong to them. It was all the power of God that brought people to faith through their words that they spoke. Brought people life and healing, whether it's the healing of the body or the healing of the soul. It was the power and the authority of God through Christ Jesus that made it happen. It wasn't them at all. They were the instruments of it. So, when we go out, when we are sent, we are sent in your new comfort zone. A new comfort zone through the power of God. So when you go out into the world and you go beyond these walls, and beyond what you are normally comfortable with, remember this. Jesus sent you out with his power and his authority. It's not yours. Don't worry about you. Don't worry about whether you're nervous. The power of the authority of God takes care of your fears. Don't worry about the right words to say because God will give you the right words to say. <coughs> Don't worry about whether or not you're going to be able to do anything because God will give you the power and the ability to do wonderful and mighty things in the lives of people. 
God will give you that power and authority so that you can go out in your new comfort zone to where you rely upon God, not yourself. So it's your new comfort zone through the power of God. So as we wrap this up and wrap up our series, we wrap it up with God's kingdom goes. God's kingdom goes, and Jesus sends us to the world. Jesus sends all of us to the world. And yes, that may be nerve-wracking to us. Yes, that may be troubling to us. Yes, that may be disturbing. I don't want to step out of my comfort zone. I'm very happy with just the way it is. But that's not the way it should be. That's not the way it's going to be. And God is not sending you out into an environment to do something radically different than you've never done before. He's not sending you out into environments that you've never been. He's sending you out into your normal work and life places. He's sending you out into your offices, into the factories, into the schools, into the places where you normally are. He's sending you out into the world that is. That is your world. Whether it's teams, whether it's classes, whether it's office environments, it makes no difference. God is sending you out into those. The big difference is you now have the power and the authority of Almighty God to make a difference in people's lives with the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. You have the power and authority to bring healing. You have the power and authority to bring grace and mercy to people in life. You have the power and the authority belongs to you and because God gave it to you through Christ to go forward and to bring the grace and mercy of God, to speak His words and to speak of His grace, to tell people about You have that power. I have that power. We all do. So the key fun is when the kingdom of God goes, is to let go of yourselves and your reservations and your worries and your fears and your struggles. Just let them go. Don't worry about it. God has given you the power and the authority to tell about Jesus in whatever environment that you're normally in. Go. Oh. Oh. And all God's children say, Amen. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Yeah. <coughs>